Hi, welcome to Unfinished Stitches. I'm Bonnie. And I'm Madison. And today we are here to share with you our winter 2023 whip parade. Yay! All right, who's going first? I'll go first. Okay. So my first one, I have been working on quite a bit if you've watched our channel, which is Snow Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, and I was doing a block a month for a while, but I have since fallen off the wagon because I started that in January of 2023 this year. So here's my progress so far. And this is stitched on 16 count French Country Rain. Color showing up good. It's kind of dark. It's a little dark. Oh, here, let me do that. That looks a little better. Oh, yeah, that helps. It's, um, that background is perfect. Did you, isn't that what they called for on that one? Yes, this is what they called for. Okay. Um, and I bought it online. And I would highly recommend if you do anything with a lot of white to do something like this, especially yes. for this project. I highly recommend this um, blue. Well, it, you it want it all to show really, up really well. So it shows up really well. I have obviously the two next to this middle and then the top four to do, but I'm happy with my progress. That's a lot. Year. Yeah. That's better than nothing. So something's always better than nothing. I like it. It's a fun, hopefully maybe, you know, I can get some more of it done. Yes. Okay. So I'll go next. So along those same lines, I'm doing Glitter Village from, who is this from? Country Cottage It's Needleworks. from Country Cottage Needleworks. And I'm sorry, this is a, so it's, it's not, the pattern is not actually a stitched piece. I think it's just like a digital. They're computer generated. Yeah. That's how mine was too. Cause yeah. they technically, she has them as individual patterns. Correct. Like they are individual patterns. And then yes. she, I believe makes them with the intention of like a pillow mm -hmm. or a single one, but we made yes. them all on one piece of fabric That's for each right. of ours. Right. Cause they're by the same designer. Right. So. so I started doing this project with a couple of my friends and one of my friends, Yvonne, has finished all hers. She did hers as, as individual pillows, or she's going to finish them as pillows. And then my other friend, um, uh, Linda, she is doing hers one piece like me. Um, so here's my progress. So I have four blocks completely finished, and I'm working on that church there in the very center. And I just got tired of working on it. I. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this fabric that much. And so it's a 16 count. It's called properly primitive by under the sea. And I, it's just kind of loosey goosey and I have a hard time with it. So it's just me. Um, I have a hard time with it. So I, I, I get frustrated and yeah. it's hard for me to work on. So I had to take a break from it. I am very anxious to get back to it. I'm probably going to finish it as a sweet little pillow when I get finished. Ooh, that'll be. Pretty. Yes. Um, I haven't even thought about what I was going to do with mine. You haven't. Maybe a pillow. Maybe. I don't know. So I need to at least finish this block. Um, but I, I am happy with my progress as well. I did. I think I started mine in January as well. Mm -hmm. January, February, March, April. And then I was working May and couldn't. I just couldn't. I was not stitching because I was feeling guilty working on other things. So that's another reason why I sometimes abandon product projects like this is because yeah. I don't stitch because I feel strapped to something and I don't want to feel that way. So I'm like, okay, put it away. Yeah. Cause we were trying to do so, a block a month, which roughly. was good for a while. It was. And then we just, it just kind of got to be, you didn't have yes. time to stitch. So then you were trying to stitch your block, but you weren't getting anything else done. And yeah, so it was kind of, but anyway, that's the story yeah, of that. That's the story. We're um, sticking to it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so my next one is called Santa's treats and it is actually a Mill Hill kit. Um, and I'm a big fan of these Mill Hill kits and I thought this one was so adorable. This little peppermint here is actually um, a button that they give you in your kit. Mm -hmm. I believe it's in my little bag here if you want to find it out. Okay. Um, but these Mill Hill kits are great. If you don't know, they come with um, perforated paper and then all the thread and beads to make the pattern. Oh, there it is. And then they always have a specialty fun um, button to put on. And here's the little beads. And here's the beads. So I've started here on the um, cocoa cup with those marshmallows on the top. I only worked on this um, a little bit, but I need to get back to it. I absolutely love, I love these. They are just, they're full coverage. So they, you know, take a lot of work, but yeah, they're fun and I love them. And I think this one's so sweet and it's so all... fun. Like, I just think it's so adorable. Santa's treat. So it's got, it says cocoa, peppermint, cookies, marshmallows, and it's got cookies on it for like Santa Claus and 
So I think yeah. it's really cute. It is really cute. I, I love all these. Like I want to make some of these. As so I've ornaments. added some beads here. Yeah, you're supposed to wait till the end to do all the beads, but I just don't do that. <laughs> so I don't follow the rules. You're a rule breaker, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. But yes, we have some ornaments. Yes. They make smaller ones that are ornaments and we have a bunch of those. Yes. And I, I, yeah, we've collect, I've collected quite a few and so have you. So have I. And I, I've not made one. I've made one and finished it. And it was cute. And it was very cute. Okay. And it was so much fun. No, I made two. I made oh, yes, the you peppermint did. and then That's I made right. the dreidel. That's so right. I That's made right. two. You did make two. They'll get to be on the Christmas tree. Okay, my next project is from Barbara Anna Designs, and it was a Christ Christmas mystery stitch along in 2021, and so that tells you how far behind I am. Um, so there's the completed project, okay, and here is mine, and I'm really, really close on this one. Um, I just have to finish her hair that's swirling along. That's all I have to do. And I don't think, she has stars in the sky here with gold, and I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might, maybe I'll find some little stars like at Hobby Lobby or something to put on, but I, I don't, or maybe I won't put any on. I'm not really sure. But this, this has been fun. It's a lot of counting because, like you can see, like look at the shading on her face and um, the hair and it's, you know, look at the mountain here. Isn't this cool with her hair swirling in it and then the checkerboard that. and the houses. So it's a lot of, it's heavy counting and, um, and her hair isn't all just one color. It's like checkered. Yes. I can see. Yes. It's, it's, it's hard like, to tell that picture is yeah. not a good picture, but, um, so I really need to finish this. Like, like I said, I just have to finish her hair. So and would you stitch that on? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's tarnish. Oh, this is tarnish. I used this. I love this color. It's tarnish. Is it a 14 count? No, it's bigger than a 14 count. It is, what is 14 count? Seems smaller than a. It does seem smaller. But you know, when they hand dye stuff, sometimes it, it shrinks up a bit. But yeah. anyway, so that's what it is. It's tarnish 14 count. And so I really like to get back to this. You can finish it. It's almost done. It is really. almost so, okay, done. Almost finished. Um, I like Barbara Anna designs. They're just kind of fun and funky. Yeah, they're a little different. Her, her girls are fun. They are fun. Uh, what was I gonna say about this project? I think I'm gonna make a pillow out of it too. It, I'm um, really into the pillows. I like pillows too. Yeah. Then I can have like a bunch of them all displayed Same. instead of like hanging them on a wall. Yeah. I'd rather have like a big bowl of pillows Same. personally. Same. Oh, I with. might put a piece of fabric at the bottom of it to kind of lift good. it up a little bit. I love that. I love that. Okay. Thank you. Um, the next one is actually one we both have. Oh yes, uh, we, we started do. this together. We did. I don't know, in 2021, I believe. I think you're right. I think it's 2021. This is by Little Fox Stitching and it's called Christmas Gingerbread Village. And this is kind of another auto-generated picture. We bought this pattern off of Etsy um, from the shop. Yes, and we started it together. Yes. I started in the middle. I started Let me show you my progress. In the top left corner. And so this fabric, um, you actually, no, we dyed it together. We dyed we, it together, yes. We have the same fabric. Yes, it's 14 count hand dyed. We used Rit um, Charcoal Gray. Yes, Charcoal Gray makes a great hand -dyed. Uh, color of gray. But this, so this is as far as I've gotten. And I started in the middle and it was a, it was heavy counting and I was, it was really hard to. You were in a confetti place because there was like that I was. Reef and it was a bad And I just like couldn't make progress and I was struggling. And so I, I stopped why, looking on it. That's why I like to start on the edge. I find it so much I agree. easier. I don't know. I, I used to start in the middle. Now I don't do that. Well, ever. I start, depending on the pattern is where I decide to start. I can remember specifically, I did not want to start with this border. And that's why I started yeah, in the middle. I know, I know. But I. I don't, I'm not consistent with what, where I start. I do. I pretty much I change. I either start in the top left or the bottom left, depending on what I, what, okay. what's there for me to stitch on. Just because it's like right. left to right. Right. That makes no sense, but just like no. that's how you read. So. Okay. okay. So this is my progress. I have quite a bit done. You do. And it's so cute. And I love it. So I have all the borders done. Um, and then I'll come a little closer here so you guys oh, can yeah. see. Oh yeah. You think you have to get this gingerbread house close. Healthy. It's so cute. You're good. It's there. Uh, that one's my down. favorite. I love that Look one. Look at so the there are four houses. Is that a squirrel or a little deer? It's a squirrel. The blue is, oh, that's a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, it's so cute. But I love it. So there are um, two more, three more houses that I have to do. And then some more trees and stuff. 
I love this pattern. It's so but cute. But I made so much progress on this because the year that I had a yes. broken foot, yes, I sat. That's right. All like Christmas Day and like you for came a long time. In you general. came home. Yeah. And you were here like 10 you days You pretty or much something. waited on me the I whole did. time. And I stitched because I wasn't really supposed to walk. So I just sat and stitched she didn't for do like anything except two weeks. There. Yeah. So I didn't only stitch yeah. on this, but I did make a lot of progress you on this. Did. Because um, yeah, I even took her for, Apollo and I took her for a walk. Yes. We took the long board and she sat on my son's long board. And Apollo and, and I pulled, pulled her. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't around supposed the to block. Because yeah. it was unseasonably warm. It was. That That's Christmas. right. Christmas. I think that was 21. I think so. Yeah, I think that, that sounds was 2021. Right. Christmas that of 2021. That was also 2021. So I love this one. I love working on this one. And I just think it's so sweet. It is sweet. I love it too. So, and I'm glad I have all the borders done. That is something I didn't really realize until recently is that you should work on the border as you as do you go. the thing so that then you just don't have the stupid yeah. border left at the end because that's like yeah. my least favorite part. Same. So yeah. I try to do the border. Yes. As you should. So anyway. <laughs> as you should. Okay, my next one is Little House Needleworks. Um, and this one, you know, they sell the patterns individually again, and I'm doing it all together though, like she has suggested. And I love this one. I, I love I'm this one. I'm so excited to finish this one someday. Um, so this is fabric I dyed. I do, I do know that. It's 14 count, I think. Did you find it when you sorted these? So I have four of the blocks done and I have five left. And I love it. I really, really do. Oh no, it's 16 out, oh, 16 out. <laughs> 16 ounces. It's, it's 16 count coffee by Vintage Needle Arts. Okay, So you, but what I did, did so right, that's what I it, did. That's what it was. It was, you can kind of see the colors a little bit lighter here on the back. Mm -hmm. So this is a funny little story. I'm gonna tell the story really quick. So I had started stitching this on this first block on a different piece of fabric, or no, it was this piece of fabric. And I had stitched the border on the first one and I, it was too light. You couldn't see the white and I was disappointed. And I thought, I'm not gonna stitch this project with the white and not be able to see it. So I took some Primitive Gatherings antiquing spray. I taped off around this first border and sprayed over it. And I thought, oh yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna work out. This is gonna be great. Pulled off the tape. It, was, it looked terrible. You could totally see oh, like, gosh. so I unstitched it, which I am not a fan of. I will abandon stuff if I have to unstitch too much. And sprayed it some more to even it out to even and, it out and yeah, so and that's what I did that it just wasn't spray. dark oh, I love that primitive spray if you, you guys do. ever want like an antiquing look primitive gatherings has a spray and you spray it and it, it looks I love the look of it like look at this coloring oh. again you've got to if you stitch white I think you've got to have a background to where it right. shows up like this shows up beautifully it does that white is just so bright against the that's another thing with this glitter village that I have. It's supposed to have a soft look, and I, know, I get it because it's like pastel. But, it, but that's hard for me. That's I know. hard for me. So like, I don't mind doing this white, not as much as I hate stitching white. No. Um, and Christmas, everything is white. Everything Christmas is white. and winter, everything is freaking Sorry. white. <laughs> it is. You're right. It is white. Uh, so okay. So I love this. I want to get back to this one too. I was hoping to stitch one of these blocks in for like Christmas in July, but that didn't happen. No, I've been too busy. All these plans. Summer is hard to stitch. It's we get so very, much more stitching than in the winter time. We There's do. a noticeable difference. Absolutely. There's a lot more busyness. Um, in the well, you summer. can be outside and, you know, mm -hmm. there's just a lot more activities to be had. And it's there light are. out and it's not dark mm -hmm. at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. I want to be in my pajamas. It's true. Oops, right. Dead. Okay. My next one is Holiday Quaker by Lila's. Studios. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I love her patterns. Uh, but this is the Christmas Wahalde Quaker. I love it. Again, I, I started love it too. down here in the corner. She has a Halloween Quaker too that we both have. Yes. And I love that one too. I, I'd like to start. You Did you start that one? No, but I have plans to, plans to start it one day. It. I bought fabric, but you know, we'll see. Okay. Um, and this oh, is, I did too. We bought fabric together, didn't we? We did. Yes. Okay. You got to have the right fabric for the yes. Halloween one. Okay. But anyway. anyway, sorry. This is a Christmas video. Wrong holiday. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Um, 
winter. This is also 14 count hand dyed charcoal gray that I dyed with Rit dye. And this is my progress. I obviously started this in 2022 because I like to put the year that I start it because who knows if I'll ever finish it. Um, right. You can see I have three of the Quakers done. I love that poinsettia one. And then I've started on the little village down at the bottom. I think that that is probably the church. And then I've also put my initials and then the year. That's so pretty. I like putting the year too because so I, I might never finish a lot of these big projects. Me and too. then people are going to be like. This one is rather, I mean, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I have like nothing done. It's like <laughs> Hawk Run Hollow map again all over yeah. my. So I like it's this project. Fun. It's like also it. really fun to stitch. I really like Quaker projects. That's kind uh -huh. of been my new obsession. And yeah, I think they're they pretty look really fun. And I really like her designs. I think she does do a really too. great job and makes them very the charts like, holiday are themed. And the charts are great. Like, look at the little snowman here and the little reindeer. So, I like the Santa in the middle with the sleigh. Me too. A lot. So I really have a lot of fun um, stitching this one. Very good. Okay, the next one is it's a prairie schooler and it's called Christmas Tree Farm. And we both have started this one. I don't know, did we start this together? I don't remember. No, I started it and then you were like, I want to start it. Yes. And then you started it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, was this one of my 12 by 12s? Hmm. I, I should have written on here whether it was a 12 by 12, but I didn't. Sorry. This one was not a 12 by 12 for me, but it might have been for me. So mine is on a 14 count fiddler's cloth. And this is it. This is what I got. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty house? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now we'll let Madison Okay, mine is on 14 count oatmeal. Um, and I have the top row of houses then. Where'd the pattern go? You have it over there. I have it over here. The top row of houses done. And then the little Jeep, or not Jeep, <laughs> the little truck. And then the cute little tree farm sign. Sign. So I love it. It's a really, really cute pattern. And I love that red. It's like a nice red and a green. It's a good red. Did you use her red? So I believe that I did use what she called for. Very good. Very good. Why do I have extra fabric in there? I don't know. Oh, because is it maybe for like some of the smalls? Cause she has smalls with the, have you kept them together? Maybe I did. Cause I like the smalls on this too. Yeah, they're adorable. I like the truck. Cute. Okay. Who's turn me? You? Um, maybe you, I'll go. I think you should go. Okay, so this next one is kind of an, oopsies, an older one that I've had. And it is um, Natalia in Rosa, which is Christmas in Pink by mm, Giore Batichore. I, I, I do not know how to pronounce it. I believe that it is French. I'll show you her name over here so you can look it up because I didn't pronounce it at all. But it's Christmas in pink and it's absolutely adorable. This is her. She is so cute. That's look. the name oh my gosh. of the designer. Um, and I used 16 count touch of gray Ada. Look at that girl. She's so cute with her boots and her striped stockings. Yes, and I love her sled and the deer. So adorable. That is so cute. So I have quite a bit of it done. I'm anxious to see this one. I haven't seen it in a while. Oh my gosh, you've got a lot done. It's actually really big. Like that's it like is. huge. It is big. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do all the borders and stuff that it has, mm -hmm. but because it's got quite a bit on the top and the bottom. It is. We'll just kind of have to see. It's a lot of foo-fooing border. Yeah. And I might just do her or maybe just the top and the sled and the top because I really like the sign that says Christmas in pink yeah. and it like hangs. I like the Christmas in pink And sign. then there's like little stockings yeah. and stuff hanging so I'll probably do the top one but I probably will not do the bottom one I could see I just that. don't think it's necessary oh, she's so cute like, look at the little pom-poms on the tops of her boots so cute she's so cute so um the sled is done with the stuff in it so I just clearly need to finish filling it in and then do the back half of her little train of stuff she's so cute I love the colors in this because it's oh, yeah. pink and it's I love pink, pink. And not a, it's like just very girly and I really like it. It is really girly, but I love it. I love her. Yeah. I'm excited I to love her. You, I forgot how much progress you had made on her. She's gorgeous. This is one I started back in like 2017. This was yeah. like probably one of the first Christmassy ones that I started. It looks nice on that gray. It does. I, this was one that I purchased. It was 16 count touch of gray. 
Okay. He does. Sorry. So anyway, that's that one. Okay. So my next one is from Madame Chantilly and it's called Santa Arrives On. And here's the pattern picture. It's kind of hard to see and it's not the best picture. So I'll hold it here for just a second. And it says Merry Christmas. And there's a Santa in an airplane pulling a cart full of presents. And so um, I'm stitching this on a 14 count vintage stormy night sprayed with the primitive gathering antique spray. So I darkened it up. So I don't even know what it looked like to begin with. So anyway, this is the progress I have on here. And that's and an airplane, right? No, this is part of the... Oh, this is the present. Like his present. His sleigh. Yeah. Okay. I, his, yeah, his sleigh for a better word of what else to call it. It's, um, so I, I had fun doing this. It was fun to work on. I'd like to get back to it. I think Christmas kind of ended and then I was like, oh, I'm yeah. done with it. You know, you want to, you don't get that much Christmas stitching time. I That's don't. why we should do Christmas in July. We should. But, but I, but I, I can't, can't do it. I'm hardly know. doing, hardly did any stitch I know. in July. I, you know, I know, because it was so nice out. So there's just not enough hours in the day to do all of our stitching. There is not. Or I days wish, in the year. Which I didn't have to sleep. That would help. I mean, I already sleep don't work. sleep, but yeah. it doesn't seem to help my stitching. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites. This is called Christmas Village by The Prairie Schooler. This is one I started last Christmas, so 2022. I love that one. Love this one. So, 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 so much. Um, I did this on a 14 count um, picture this plus and it is called Regency. And let me just get it. And it, I like it because it's kind of got like a, oh, it's so a green tint to it. So it's perfect for all those trees so I have three houses done and I'll kind of show and a few of these up here so look at like the look at the logs I love this part right here look at those logs mm -hmm. and then the horse carrying the trees um the what's school. it say on the barn oh it's a school it's a school and then this little snowman the snowman is not showing up the greatest but he does show up and then yes. this like house down here on the bottom you can see I've also started the next house that is gorgeous so too. there are a total of nine so technically i'm a third You're of the way done the way done there's quite a few trees up here to stitch though yeah there are i've only and i've <laughs> only done like what there's five yeah but they'll go fast oh, but i love this pattern so much i do too it's adorable it is adorable i, I just schooler. absolutely mm. love it yes look at this sweet shirt at the bottom i love that and i love the colors she chose i do too because like most of her stuff is DMC, which also is helpful because that's primarily what I stitch in. Yeah. So they just always work. They always look really great because she, she picked them and they look beautiful. The same as the so, picture. So, I mean, look at this blue and yeah. brown house. Pretty. Kind of up close here for you. So I'm very proud of this because I did all those last Christmas in that's addition really to nice. everything else that I stitched. So. Yeah, yeah you're, you're amazing. <laughs> sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> Bringing home the tree from Lori Holt is this one because we have been going to the mountains to cut a tree for like 30 years. So it reminds me of us as a family doing that. So I started this and this one's been a struggle for me, but I, this is on 14 count white Ada. And here's my progress. I have one wheel on the car and some trees. And then this sign down here, which says bringing home the tree, you stitch around the lettering to make like a negative space with the letters. And that is really difficult for me. That is so hard for me. Honestly, if I was you, I would have just stitched the words in white. I should think you could have just filled it in. Yep. It's so much work to try to count it's around so that negative space count. because it's not filled in. That is like the hardest thing to stitch for me. It's so the hardest thing. Doing that. The negative thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it's, it's fun to stitch except for stitching around. I mean, because it's blocks of color and, and Lori Holt does a lot of blocks of color like that. And so I, you know, I, uh, I want to work on that some more. <laughs> I like everything else, but love it, love it, love it. All right, my next one is called Winter in Baltimore. Um, and this is by Brenda Gervais. 
and you know, I live in Baltimore, so I was like, I'm gonna start this, but we bought this before I lived in Baltimore. Yes, because it was so pretty. And then, I think last Christmas, I was like, I'm gonna start this because we yes. live in Baltimore now. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. <laughs> it is, I really love it. And I would I love to too. make like, this drum thing uh, that she did, or little basket or bucket. Yeah, I don't know what it is. That's either, my right. intention. That's so cute. Because I think it's adorable, and you could put like you could. leaves or pine, pine with, with little or, stitchy pillows, mm -hmm, and make like a little basket. Because I think it's gonna yeah. be pretty big. Like I think so too. Wise. I was surprised how big your piece is. So, but this is my my sad start. <laughs> it's not that sad. So it's really pretty. Uh, these are there are only these three colors, and then a brown in there for the deer that's later on. So. They are look. They look really pretty. They do look pretty. That's and I use so the call for pretty. colors, um, but this is how long it is. So I mean, I guess it's not going to be. No, but it's fairly large. You know, but I mean, it'll be like enough to put stuff in, probably. Absolutely. Um, and this is stitched on sixteen count. It was white, and I tea dyed it, so it has a light okay. kind of. I see that model to it. Just mm -hmm. a very light tanny brown kind of color. Yeah. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, my next one is from Not Forgotten Farm. And it's called Christmas Donkey. And it says dashing. And it's a donkey pulling a little car with a tree in it. And it says dashing. And I remember distinctly, I started this, I was out working and I had some downtime and I was in my car traveling. And I pulled into a parking lot at the coffee shop and <laughs> sat and stitched for a while. So anyway, this is my um, but I've gotten done and what stopped me on this is the color conversion. It calls for DMC colors, but, um, they don't match the picture on the front and I have a hard time with that. I mean, that was almost specifically why I bought this pattern is because I really like the kind of mustard colored cart and, and when I started pulling the colors, they weren't the same. They didn't look the same. And so, I mean, I think this is a green that yeah, I used. It looks, it like, looks a like a green. It looks green, but so I don't know. I I like it, but and I think that there's like a zigzag stripe in the cart, and I think you can't see it when I started to stitch it, and so then I stopped, and I was like, okay, I gotta, I have to, you need a new, I need to refigure this. So I just need to come back to it and kind of look at the colors I have, and then make my decisions on what's what and, and then continue on. I'm not going to restart it or anything, but that's... No, because it's a cute little... Yeah. I, I really like the donkey. Donkeys are hysterically funny. They are funny. Okay. All right. My next one is called Bottle and Brush Tree Farm by Hands on Designs. And this was a pillow we started together. We did. Two years ago. It was 2021, 2021 I think. Um, and we loved it because we thought it was so, so cute. You finished yours. I did. I did not finish it. Okay. We started two pillows and I haven't finished either of them. <laughs> but right. this one is um, stitched on a 14 count. Um, oops, let me move that. My random thread. So that one's not even attached to anything. 14 count that we had dyed um, apple green. Apple green. Rick dye. dye apple green. Um, and it's really green, but it is really you green. can see how green it was in the pattern. It looks good though. So it's cute. so good. I wasn't sure when we first dyed it. I was a little it, worried. I was like, but oh my gosh. It was fine. It's really good. It's perfect it's for it. It's fun to mix it up instead of all the just yes. hands and yes. stuff that we always do. Yes. So I it have was. just the words done. Um, I, I thought I started and I had to tear it out. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I, I just didn't want to work on it. <laughs> I think I just didn't want to work on it because, like, actually, it looks like you start. It looks doesn't like it a, look like I stitched it looks like something? you stitched two trees right here and then they were wrong or something, doesn't it? Yes, and it looks like I I like clipped something. I think I did something wrong and I had I to unstitch too. it and then I was like, I'm done with this. All right. Because it's really, you know, it's um 67 by 67, so it's really I could just like get it done, but right. Pretty sure it I turns just out it. It's kind so of difficult. Cute. You messed yours up too. I, mine's messed like, up. These trees and just like the counting, yep. it's kind of a hard pattern to stitch. <laughs> Not it's because adorable. the pattern's hard, because mm. it's just because I just mentally. couldn't figure it out. Um, so I, I should have got mine out to show, but yeah, I messed mine up. So I'd like to finish this, but I corrected it along the way so that I can be done with like, it. Some of my trees are like higher than others, or I can't remember what the deal is, Something but like I that. just made it equal on the sides, and it was fine. Mine was not 
fixable. No, you're supposed to not. Mine was like, I, I, I don't remember what the deal it. was, but I, I remember you got frustrated and you were like, me either. <sighs> it was going to be okay. completely, I think, off center. Yeah. And Something. it's kind of symmetric, not symmetrical, but there's the four, four trees and then three trees. So it was just going to not work with the pattern and I had to undo it. So maybe, maybe this year. <laughs> okay. I, I don't even, oh gosh, this was, this is a sad start. This is a sad one to leave you guys with. So this is in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Christmas Magazine from 2021 Christmas. And the reason I bought this was for this pattern. And I believe this pattern now is a standalone pattern that you can buy. It's called Dancer and it's from uh, Barbara Anna Designs. And this is why I bought this magazine was specifically just for this pattern because I love him with the village like stuck up in his antlers and the keys dangling. I so cute. So I did start it on 16 count night sky from fiber on a whim. And here we go. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have. His little antler is part of his little antler. That's all I got. So, but at least there's a little start in them. There goes a squirrel across the fence down I there. I see that. Apollo's going to have a fit if he sees that. Okay. So that's. Oh, oh there he was. He yep. Apollo barked. saw him. That's funny. Okay. So that was my last one. My last one is the other pillow that we started together that I didn't finish and you did finish. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's called Anne Rudolph by La Di Da. And it has each of the reindeer on there. And it's stitched all in black. I love this pattern. This is stitched on an 18 count um, that you hand dyed with tea for us. And it's very pretty and modeled. So you can see I really did not make, again, I had a hard time with the counting for these deer. It was hard. I, I had to rip out several times. So if I could just get the deer done and then work yep. on the letters, yep. I think I could bang yep. it out. But because yep. it looks really, really, your finished pillow it's looks so adorable. So I need to get so mine cute. done. But I love this little pattern and it's so cute. It's like a tall and skinny yes. pillow. And I we love la -dee da so. I do too. I had the same problems. I, that the, for some reason counting the antlers on that deer. Yes. I, I had the worst problem. They were really hard. We met, our know. brain must work the same because I had the they same must. problems with that. So, and this is just stitched with why. like black and then there's just a little bit of white, white there in the middle of the, of yeah. the deer, so. Yeah. That was your last one? Yes, and that was my last one. I think I had, how many whips did I have? Nine? You had nine I and had I nine. had ten. So, okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right, thanks for watching and hope you enjoy this and get inspired to get your Christmas stuff out and yes. start getting ready for Christmas because it's a short season for stitching Christmas and I always feel like I get gypped. So, maybe one of these years I'll do Christmas in July when I, I don't know, don't have anything to do, which maybe. I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe. So, yes. Okay. Thank you Thanks. so much for watching. We Bye. appreciate it. Bye.